two, three, four. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jamal here, and I'm just here to show you the new features on iOS 4 on the iPod Touch 3rd generation 8GB. So, this is basically like the iPod Touch 2nd uh, generation. So, um, yeah, this is iOS 4 on the iPod Touch 2nd generation, just for, uh, you know, for reference, because, um, there hasn't been a lot of new features added to the iPod Touch 2nd generation, um, compared to, like, you know, the 3rd generation and iPhone 3GS, uh, and iPhone 3G and stuff. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. So, first of all, I want to say it's more, it's definitely more snappier than it used to be. Like, uh, see you can't I guess you can't really tell because of the video camera and the lighting but that's that is the camera's fault but this is way snappier than it used to be on the older um, older versions of iOS if that's what you want to call the older versions but um yeah definitely more responsive because when I used to uh you know like when I used to touch it it would still even take like a couple of you know not seconds but you know, still like maybe milliseconds or something before it even did anything. But now, like it's super responsive. Like right when I touch it, it just it does it. And uh, so yeah, it's definitely a lot snappier. Um, one kind of a major feature is now folders. Like uh, you can put apps into certain folders according to you know whatever you like, but uh, mostly according to you know what their uh, what their significance is. Like here, I have a tools folder. And you know, games folder. And then down here, I have a uh, stores folder. If that opens, oops. <laughs> yeah, stores folder. And uh, one cool thing it does is when you open the folder, it kind of puts all of the uh, background, everything in the background, in black and white. So that is a definitely a cool little feature that they did. Um, the bottom dock is more. It's changed a little bit. It's more, uh, I guess glossier kind of as more of a glossy effect in that little uh, background rectangle type thing and um, I'll show you how to do folders in a second uh, let's go to music and music they definitely uh, up upgraded that a lot now when you go to view an album it's organized much much more I'm, I'm sorry for the camera view it I know I tried I tried to make it get it focused but uh, I can't I was not having any luck, so uh, this is the best I can do. So I apologize for that, but um, definitely uh, for this uh, for the album, they have basically they have the title or the uh, the name of the artist here. This is the Beatles, and then they have the title of the album, which is this is Abbey Road. They have the date released under that, and then they have the number of songs and how long the album is. Oopsies, didn't mean to do that. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> they have, uh, yeah, like I said, the number of songs and the number of minutes that the album is. And then they have the album artwork here, and then they have the list of songs, which even the list, it's way more, uh, you know, it's updated. They have more of a, um, I guess you could say more of an organized look to it, I guess. It's, it's not, it's not just plain plain letters, plain words like it was before. It has like the number next to it and then it has the uh, the runtime of the song and stuff like that. And then the, there's a shuffle button here and um, once you press that, it'll just go to a random song in the album. So uh, that's pretty, that's a nice thing. And uh, if you go to more and you go to playlists, you can now create your own playlist from your iPod, which that was one thing I was definitely waiting for so uh, to do that you can add playlist I'm gonna just call this one uh, chill and save and now I'll just pick a couple of random songs I'll pick uh, excuses and uh, um, dolly dagger that's not even a chill song uh, dig it and press done so now I have this playlist with uh, these songs in it and at the top you can edit so you can edit the songs that are edit. You can edit the songs that are in here already. Um, you can press clear. You can clear all the songs out of the playlist, or you can. Oops, I just cleared it. Oh well. Or you can uh, just delete the whole playlist itself, which I will do that right now. 
And uh, yeah, so that's a cool new feature that they also added. I was uh, kind of waiting for that because I found myself in situations where I would want to make a playlist and I couldn't. <laughs> Sorry. So um, yeah, back to the uh, folders. So let's say I want to make a folder and I'm going to make a uh, internet slash uh, social fo folder. Now, uh, so I'll drag T yeah. I'll drag uh, Safari over to TweetDeck here. Or oh, if TweetDeck wouldn't run away, I'll just put it over Tumblr. So I'm going to put it over Tumblr, and there's going to be this white box that appears over it. And you can either drop it, just drop it in that white box, or wait for this whole thing to come up. You can drop it in here. And they automatically call it productivity, but I'm going to call it uh, social. Press done. And now I created this folder, and I'm just going to put it in the bottom here. And now I have this folder for all social and internet needs. So that's great. Now I can reduce all of these apps into this one folder, and it can reduce all the space that I use. See, then I'll put TweetDeck in here. And now move photos over this side. And now I've reduced my apps down to one page. I used to have a lot of apps, but uh, I found myself not using them. I usually only, when I buy apps, like games and stuff, I'll get them, like, and then I'll use them for, like, two minutes after I get it, and that's it. So uh, I deleted a lot of apps yesterday. So, uh, yeah. So now I have one page of apps. Uh, and one last feature, I believe, that they have um, added is a new spell check which I'll demonstrate here and I'll say I'm going to type something like a folder and then I let's say folder and then I get attacked by monkey in mid typing so I do something like that now it's going to put this red line I don't know if you can see that let me try to there you go puts that red line under there for a uh, kind of a spell check type thing like they do on Windows, and I'm pretty sure Mac too. And uh, so I'm just going to tap the word. It says no replacements found. So let's backspace a little bit. And then press it. Tap it now. And now it pops up with two words. There will probably be more if uh, depending on what word you have. But it pops up with a, a choice of words that you might have been trying to uh, type. Now I'm going to press, uh, let's just place folder then it fixes it. It should have fixed it, but it didn't. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna press the folder, and now I just fixed it like that. So that's a really bet a much better spell check than they had at first, it would just automatically um, just fix your word, and it probably wasn't even the word you're trying to type, which I hated. And I think they still do that anyway, so, you know, at least they added another kind of a choice to it and um, that's most of the features that you have for iPod touch it's not much but um, it's still better and some other uh, if you get uh, I know some other features that they have is uh, Wi-Fi you can it can stay on Wi-Fi while it's sleeping so that you can still receive um, updates like Vo VoIP calls and other third-party uh, apps spell checking like I said uh, even better mail you can gift apps to friends and um, it says iBooks here on the Apple site but I have not uh, seen iBooks in there at all so um, yeah that's a kind of a bummer but oh well and uh, yeah if you get the uh, larger versions like uh, 64 gigabyte and 32 gigabyte you can get multitasking and uh, home screen wallpapers and uh, Bluetooth keyboards and all of that good stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm Jamal, like I said, and uh, thanks for watching. This was an overview of iOS 4 on the iPod Touch 8GB, aka 2nd Gen iPod Touch. Um, comment, like, subscribe, and um, thank you for watching.